Hey guys, what's up? It's iPhone here, and welcome to episode 5 of Warframe's Beginner's Guide 2.5. And this is going to be more of, let's say, a tips video because I have went and I put together a list of what I deem to be the essential mods for progressing in Warframe. I've also listed, you know, what type of mod it is, you know, uh, if it's a Warframe mod, if it's a primary weapon mod, secondary, melee, and the most fun and most efficient way to farm that mod in my opinion. So that is going to be linked down in the description below. I'm not going to touch too much upon that now. We'll get into that a little bit later because there's a lot to explain with it because there's a lot of different, I guess, methods for farming which you guys may not have, I guess, came across yet. So we'll talk a little bit about that, but let's talk about where you should be at in the game right now. If you're following this guy to the book, you've been doing what I've been saying. Um, where you should be right now is you should have the majority of the nodes on Mercury, Venus, and Earth completed. So if we go ahead, we zoom in, uh, you'll see that I've got the majority of the nodes on here completed with the uh, exception of Odin, that node right there. Uh, majority of the nodes on here with the exception of the ending sort of nodes, so this Arcwing one, you can't do that because you don't have an Arcwing. Uh, Arcwings are a little bit too expensive at the beginning of the game, so you don't really need that. Um, the survival, these here are known as Dark Sector. Well, this is known as the Dark Sector, this is not. Uh, this is just a basic interception mission, which I haven't done yet. So, the survival is the Dark Sector. I haven't done that yet because... I don't know, I just didn't want to do that survival. I could probably go do it if I wanted to and complete that, but... I have to make this video, so, uh, Kobat, again, another dark sector, Tikal is my favorite farming source early game, this is where I farm up all my mods and stuff early game, but again, we'll talk a little bit about that later on, uh, we have an Arkham mission here, so you should have the majority of these nodes completed, you should also have every sort of requirement for this Mars Junction completed also, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do the Mars Junction, so I'm just gonna go ahead, Show you guys this. I pledge my shadow life to defend the solar reels. So there, again, there's like some creepy lore aspect to the solar reels, but we're gonna be killing a frost warframe today. Let's go ahead, see if he's that big of a challenge. He's gonna store up our damage. You guys know how Volt's passive works by now. He's gonna store it up, <laughs> get it to a thousand, then we'll probably end up one shotting him. Hopefully. Implying we don't miss. What's he trying to shoot me with? Is that a, that's a Tigris, right? I have no idea. Please, no kill. Frost? It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Come on. Run back and forth here. You got really bad aim. Can't touch this. Oh, he tried using an ability. So, let's hit that. Ooh, that health. And he's dead. Ripperino, Frostarino. Always dead Arino. He's dead, so let's go ahead. Head, activate the solar reel, and that's it. Done. Oh, I just hit a Coke can. Whoops. And yeah, Mars Solar Reel. Pretty easy. So, like I said, more of a tips video, not really gonna be a gameplay video, so I'm just gonna be talking a lot. So let's go ahead, jump back into the ship after you watch this amazing cutscene. Brought to you by DE. Okay, so upon coming back into the ship, Ordis started talking a little bit. I have Ordis turned off, but um, basically we got a Void Relic segment. So that's going to allow us to go ahead, put this in, and this is going to allow us to play Void Missions. Now we're not ready for that yet, but if you have been playing the, let's say, Excavation Missions. So I'll show you some Excavation Missions that you should be playing. So here on Earth... You can be playing Tikal, or you can play the other excavation mission known as Cervantes, and these will drop pretty good keys, or relics, let's say. Uh, pretty good relics, pretty good mods, and yeah, so this is kind of more of an update for where you should be. I'm recording this at 3 o'clock in the morning, by the way. Um, this is more of an update on where you should be. So now we're on Mars, right? And I said in the last video, this is basically where your grind begins. Your grind begins now. You have to keep on replaying missions. You have to farm stuff up. And along with that, you're going to be looking for things which is going to make your grind more efficient, right? So you're going to be looking for things which is going to allow you to kill enemies faster, uh, get missions done with a lot less effort, you know, things like that. So what I went and did is I put together a list of 
all the quote unquote essential mods in Warframe and I composed it in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet which I'll have a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out. So in the first sort of column it says category so this is what type of mod it is so if it's a Warframe mod, a primary weapon, secondary etc. Second column you have the mod name so streamline intensify stretch etc and then the third column you have where to get so this is the most efficient way in my opinion on how to get that mod. Um, so might have some sort of variant of it on screen I have no idea just depends if I put it in editing probably will saying it's such an important topic but um yeah so what I don't want to read down the list of all the mods but I do want to note that there's some things in here which we haven't came across yet so I'm just gonna pull up uh, I probably just tap I shouldn't tab out because that's basically going to mess up the game sound but there is a bunch of mods which are dropped from what is known as an Oricon Derelict. Now, the Oricon Derelict is a thing that is like an abandoned sort of void tile set. We haven't got to it yet, and the only way to get to it is to join a clan. So, to join a clan, go to this dojo. You see you haven't got anything here. So, this is where you would go to uh, buy your void key, right? So, if we pause the game... We go to communications, we can begin our own clan or we can join an existing clan. And what I'm going to do for you guys, if you're just, if you're a new player and you're watching this, I'm going to be starting a beginner's clan, okay? So this is going to be a clan for beginning players, which you can join and you're going to get a, a special sigil, which you can wear on your shoulder if you buy it for platinum, which will just show that you're a beginning player. You're watching the beginning beginner's guides and it'll, I guess it'll bring... The community of the beginning players together right so this clan is going to be managed by myself and some of my admins in my uh clan which is on my main account and from this clan what happens is you're basically brought in here people can help you out you can work together you can create your own type of community and then from that if we see that you're progressing really far into the game you're picking it up well you get to about let's say master rank 10 uh, then we will allow you to progress into the next clan, so my main clan, so you'll be able to get involved in raids and things like that. So it's a good way of me sort of monitoring my main clan, making it so that we're not sort of at the top tier, because the more players you have in your clan, the more resources it takes to build new weapons and stuff inside the clan dojo. But basically, I'm going to be starting this new clan, and I'm going to be recruiting you guys into it. So it's going to be called... What should we call it? I don't know. Uh, I really need to do this for the video. Can't think of a name. I'm going to edit this and come back to it whenever I think of a name. The Beginner's Guide, guys. It's creative, okay? Let's go. So that's going to be the name of the clan. And basically, you guys can join it. So what's going to happen whenever you join a clan is you're going to have to craft what is known as a clan key. So you come down in here and you go to the key. Craft it. That's all good. It's going to cost you 10 platinum if you want to rush it. Don't recommend rushing it. And basically, whenever you craft that dojo key, what's going to happen is it's going to give you access to the clan dojo where you're able to build your own sort of base of operations, do weapon research, find all these new weapons, things like that. And yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool. And I'm going to show you guys basically this sort of video series is going to show you how to start up your own clan how to recruit people into your clan, how to upload clan logos, things like that, and just sort of have a successful clan. Because um, I feel that's a very important part of Warframe. You don't necessarily have to do this whenever you are a very low level, because if you join a clan whenever you're a low level and you buy some of the already researched weapons in there, it can be very beneficial because some of the weapons in there are pretty powerful. Um, but, you know, it's, I think creating a clan is part of the experience because that's how I started in Warframe. So if you want to start your own clan, completely fine. If you want to sort of go on this journey with me, go ahead and, you know, join this clan. And I'm going to have, I guess I will make a list of people to join the clan and recruit people into it. So for now, it's going to be you guys will PM me uh, on this account, that beginner's guide guy, which I'll show you how to do now. So you open up your chat, you do slash W, uh, that beginner's guide guy. And then you do a space and you say, hello, I would like to join the clan. And you press enter and then that would send a message to me if I'm online. And then you'll be invited directly into the clan. So 
basically the clan works in tiers you can only have a limited number of people in it uh so to begin with you have 10 then you expand up to 30 then you go to 100 then you go to a thousand something like that uh and the more people you have in your clan the more it costs to research weapons and stuff so i'm going to try to keep the clan to a limited amount of people who are dedicated to playing the game dedicated to watching the guy dedicated to progressing and this is basically going to be my way of helping you guys in this sort of beginner guide experience as well as uh, sort of giving you helpful content so yeah, let's go on a little bit. Uh, so I was mentioning that this clan dojo is going to allow you to craft what is known as Orkin Derelict Keys. And Orkin Derelict Keys are basically going to open up a new tile set. So you see, there it's not actually on the star chart right now, but... Okay, here's a weird bug that I don't necessarily agree with. But you go on the navigation and you zoom out. And if you already have an Orkin Derelict Key, over in this side right here, there's going to be like a floating ship. If you don't like have an orc and derelict key obviously this won't be here but uh one of the junctions i don't know where it exactly is i think it's maybe saturn requires you to go to the orc and derelict and to acquire one of those keys you have to be in a clan so that's why it's very important to join a clan super early um like i was saying this is where your farm or your grinding begins so what i want you guys to be doing over the next couple of i don't know let's say days right you have to go through Mars, and basically Mars is a corpus, no, it's not a Grenier tile set. So this is going to put you up against the Grenier faction, same enemies as on Earth and Mercury, yeah, but they have a different skin. And basically because they have a different skin, they're also going to drop different mods. Now if we pay attention to this sort of uh, chart that I made, it gives you a list of all the different mods that you want to get. And you Basically, you just have to work your way towards these mods. So basically, what we're going to be doing in this series now is working our way towards getting every single one of these mods. Now, there are essential mods. Well, basically, every mod on this list is an essential mod that you have to get. So we have things like Streamline. We have things like Intensify, Stretch, Continuity, Vitality, Clean Expertise, Blind Rage. Now, remind that, you know, you have to have all these mods to make this game really enjoyable. These mods basically define whether or not you're going to enjoy this game if you get these mods super early it's just going to make this game a lot more enjoyable for you uh, i can guarantee that in the long run so things that you can do to sort of i guess ease the grind is to mod in the most efficient way possible so for vault basically in my opinion what he is is he is a cc frame now so what you can be doing is you can mod for power range uh and basically use your fourth ability to crowd control enemies right so what I recommend doing is try the mod, max out the stretch mod that you have, if you have a stretch mod. If not, refer to the chart and it's going to show you where to get the stretch mod in the most efficient way possible. Um, so upon getting that stretch mod, what I want you guys to be doing is going to these two excavation missions. You basically have to grind the hell out of these excavation missions to get... Uh, pretty essential mods which is going to allow you to deal more damage you can progress free mars completely fine you can pro progress free mars get to the boss node which is known as war and i'm pretty sure uh the war node now drops frost i don't know i'm going to be progressing through this come the next episode so basically what you guys want to be doing is you want to progress complete war and then progress to phobos and then you can progress to series right so you want to go do the boss node and then travel to uh, Phobos Junction, do all these things. So defeat 150 enemies in a single mission on Mars. Scan five Cephalon Fragments on Mars and open three little Void Relics. So we're going to actually have to travel into the Void. And we're also going to have to craft Codex Scanners. So Codex Scanners can be located in your arsenal. So if you go down here and you go to the gear section right here, you click the top one. Then you can buy Codex Scanners for 500 credits each. So I think I said 10. So let's go ahead by 10. If not, I will eat my words, but let's go ahead and find out. So if we go up here, Mars, there we go. Okay, so it's a scan five cephalon fragments on Mars. So basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be exploring Mars for five different cephalon fragments, which is going to open lower entries in your codex. You don't have to find every single cephalon fragment in the game on every planet. But it opens up a little bit of lore that, you know, you might find 
pretty interesting or pretty cool. You can always go look it up in the wiki or the Reddit and find out what every Cephalon Fragment holds, but this is their way of introducing you to scanning. You scan the Cephalon Fragments, and then you can also scan enemies to find out what mods they drop, right? So you don't have to do that because obviously there's other sources which will tell you how to do these things, but it's just a nice thing to sort of be in the game uh, because it lets you like make your own archive of where things drop, right? So you don't have to do that, but... Definitely go ahead, progress through Mars, and stick to what this wants you to do, and also do what the Ceres Junction wants you to do. So, defeat the Sergeant on Eyelid on Phobos. So, you actually do have to, you know, go to Phobos before you can progress to Ceres. So, that's why you have to go there before you can go here. Defeat Lich Krill on War on Mars. So, I ha go to War, go to Mars. Uh, kill Lich Krill, and he will drop Frost parts for you. We'll get to him in a later video, defeat 300 R Grenier enemies on Mars, do that, pretty easy, and refine a Void Relic once at the console, console in your Orbiter, right? So basically what you guys have to be doing, this is going to be the next step. So up in the top right hand corner right here, you have this sort of flame thing. And if you're playing these excavation missions, you're going to get those relics that I was showing you down here in the ship. So if you go ahead, go back down. Basically, these relics are going to allow you to get prime parts. So you can see which relic drop which prime parts. Uh, doesn't really matter right now because you're not going to be able to farm sets because each sort of tier of relic drops different types of prime parts. So, uh, you know, you might get the next prime blueprint. You're going to need the systems, chassis, and helmet. The next prime system, chassis, and helmet, which will drop from, you know, maybe really high level uh, void missions, right? Which you don't have access to yet because you have to go ahead, farm up those relics from higher level planets and then use those and farm up that piece, right? So you have all these different relics and you should be trying to farm up like a, like an inventory of these relics, which you can do most efficiently by playing the two exterminate missions on Earth. So Cervantes and Tikal. I recommend Tikal because it's versus Infested. It's really easy to crowd control those enemies. They don't have guns. Uh, and if you're lucky, you can get into a public match with someone who's playing as the Warframe known as Volbin, which is a very good crowd control frame versus the Infested. Um, it'll just make your life really, really easy. So if you can find someone who has the Volbin Warframe, sure, go for it. You know, it's going to make your life really easy. Um, so yeah, I recommend playing this in public match. Last as long as you can in this mission. Then extract. Just don't push yourself overboard. Don't make it so that you're wasting your time and you lose all your revives and then you fail the mission because that sucks. Losing all your rewards sucks and you don't want that to happen. Just stay as long as you can. Farm up as many relics. The third excavator on every rotation drops one relic. So go ahead, do that there. Farm up all those relics. And in the next video, I will show you guys how to actually do void missions, uh, how to kill the boss on war, and how to progress to the next junction. But I highly, 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 highly recommend that you check out the chart or images that I have in the description below because it will show you how to get like all the essential mods in the game. So if you basically just follow what they say, uh, it's no like order. There's no order to most valuable to you know less valuable. Just every mod that is on that list, you will need to get and we will be getting in this series and that is going to be basically um, mine and your duty to do. So... It's going to be down in the, in the description below. Please go check it out because it's it's only me to help you, you know. So I'll be recruiting for this clan. I hope to have some of you guys PM me. I will be farming up more relics and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys get excited for the next episode, episode 6. So like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.